Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakura One here, finally back with my Danganronpa Let's Play. Oh boy. So, again, I apologize that it's been so long since the last part, just life stuff keeps getting in the way, and I can't record the way I want to or as often as I want to. But, yeah, I apologize. But, last time, we met our new school's headmaster, and he had a, a lot to say. And he laid out the ground rules. And, uh, well, basically, the long and short of it is, in order to get out of the school, should you want to, you have to, well, kill someone <laughs> if you want to get out of here. So, yeah. And that, of course, is making everyone wary because, uh, they don't know who's gonna go after who. There's no trust in our little group at the moment right now, because we kind of just met. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, things are a bit crazy. To say the least. Forget, what was the, uh... Okay. What was it to look at the rules? Ah, yeah. Square, thank you. There we go. Regulations. Yeah, here's all the rules. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 to 7 a.m. Or 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peaks Academy at your discretion. Violence against him, Master Monokuma, is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Ah, yes. Yeah, that's the rule that's got everyone freaking out, obviously. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. So, yeah. Oh, boy. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Yeah, that's for the windows, right? Same thing. Okay. What else can I look at? You don't want to go out the door just yet. Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designated to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathroom and the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. <laughs> One stab will do the job, girls. Oh boy. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head. With any of the tools should be ample. Oh boy. Don't think. Just feel and let's all enjoy ourselves. <laughs> that sounds like something Chie would say. Don't think. Feel. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't read that either. Table. Ah! Oh, hello! Honey? But that key, that's our room key, right? Yes. Yes, we should. What's this? Lit roller. Haha! <laughs> That's gotta be the bathroom, right? Locked? Why would the bathroom be locked? What's that? A notepad. Okay. So what does it want me to do exactly? I don't know what it wants me to do. Well, bed. It's 
So is that it? Just look at the room? I don't see anything over this way. Oh! Speaker. Anything else I didn't look at? Doesn't seem to be the case. Alright. Oh. So, what do I do? Just leave? <clears throat> Locked! I swear I looked at everything! Ah! Oh, there's a toolkit, okay. Of course. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be... Yes, yes, yes. Ah! Get out of here? Well... Will it let me leave now? Well, let's... let's see. Oh! Ah! Oh, hello! <laughs> oh. Sayaka! <laughs> Sorry, are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Hello. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up down on stage. That's good then. Um... But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I get knocked out right here, right there in front of everyone. Or I got knocked out. Um, I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. Actually, I came to get you. Came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on? Then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall, then. Let's see... Oh, that's cool, you can leave the map up. I didn't even know. Cool. Okay. Really? The bath, keep out. <laughs> dining hall. Um, it looks pretty, pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, 
I guess it's not really important right now. But us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was here waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Ah, cool. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? <laughs> it's kind of sudden, I know. But here comes a tutorial. Reactions? Right? Oh. Did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually I was. Ah, I knew it! I went there too. I was in class four. Oh, I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true. But there are lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything. And all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal will call me boring. Ah, What are you talking about? You're so strange. S strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. I like this game. <laughs> That's somehow... The serious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Oh... That's Someone's good. got a crush. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all of you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not many of those ultimate students. Or not any of those. Thank you for saying okay. that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. Aw, when she says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. <laughs> Aw. I like her. She's adorable. Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time... It is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Why, yes. I believe that is a clock. Right? Uh-huh. What? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um... <laughs> you were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I had to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, Oof. um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Talking through open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hello? Hey. Ah, Makoto! Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. <laughs> I guess it just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? 
Yeah. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks really like everyone's nice here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. Please do. Let's let's hear. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Right. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl? <sighs> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <clears throat> what? I took another look around in the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Uh-oh. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? And everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Uh-oh. Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. Oh, you... <laughs> Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. Ah, yeah, this... Yeah. You must kill someone if you want to leave. <laughs> yep. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no. I I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? <laughs> Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope Speaks Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um... Makoto... Ashley, first of all... I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know... Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I've... I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. Aww. Okay, I... I like her. She's really cute. Okay. Alright, everyone. Okay. You see. Right. I want to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. <clears throat> really? That's it? <laughs> if I had uncovered anything, naturally I would have had more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Right. Understood. Okay. What about you? I wasn't trying to leave. I'm trying to talk to her. Really? We can look at that. Talk to anyone else? Just her? Um, you see. Right. Hmm. Ah, 
Okay. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. Oh, shit. It was hard as, like, metal. Well, yes, yeah. Indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Oh, this anyway, sucks. if we're gonna get out of here, it's gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no. I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. <laughs> I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating, but... Or communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading to, up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them. So we couldn't check it out. Hmm. Dang it. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there's potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. One would hope. Right. Oh, hello. Cool. I bet you there's a trophy for finding all of those. You see? Okay, I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me. There, I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Uh, well, yeah. I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it. So I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name. Precision etched onto it. Right? And plus. And Shihiro and I found out that all of the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out, and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Yeah, mine was locked. Why? Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better have better have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report. Can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Okay. Hmm. We went up. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was. Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad. It really sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Naturally. Okay. Um. So I see we gotta go see. through each sentence. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't notice the two um, on the bottom. You see. There we Let's go. See. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time. <laughs> well, it's not like any of you in invited me along. Nobody said, hey, c come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. 
Like I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty... Ooh. <laughs> a dirty slut like you. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Ooh. <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Ouch. For real. I... I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Aww. Yeah. It sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. Yeah, I don't think that's what's going on either, Sayaka. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. All right. Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh, sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least, that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that... And disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him... That I can't believe somebody... Ugh. I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> no, or she wouldn't be here. Eat her? And what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh. Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually. <laughs> Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey. Hey, hey stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. Oh, shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting... Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. That looks like a map. Yeah, a map. What the? Where'd you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is... This really is Hope's Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations under it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then... This really is Hope's Peak Academy. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Huh? So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future leader is supposed to come and learn. But... But, if this is... If this really is Hope's Peak Academy... Or Hope's Peak... Where are all the other students? <sighs> hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this. You know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? Are you kidding me? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak Academy, or Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> Yeah, I doubt it. I very much doubt that. What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. 
haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. Didn't find it who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. Well, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um... <laughs> Everyone, just calm down. Please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's got to be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our, our lives here from now on. That... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. You know what? I can agree with that. <laughs> Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Again, I actually can agree with that statement. Actually. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Yeah. By 10 o'clock, we have to be inside. Right. And to sleep anywhere besides the dorm is forbidden, right? Let's see. So, regarding the nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone might try to come and kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was thinking that's where we would be heading. We would have to start investigating at night to try to find a way out. If we have to worry about that about that night after night, for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our, activi our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It was like the little, it's like the little, the little gullet. God the leader said, why am I so tongue-tied today? Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. Uh, you shouldn't speak for someone else. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone's in agreement, good. <laughs> er, everyone is in agreement, good. Then if you will excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see... It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So goodbye. <laughs> All right. Um. So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. <laughs> um. Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like you said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this so sucks. we have to just give up? For now. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Let's do that. Aww. And we're done for today. Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, why not? Okay. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks in them, right? 
Hmm. Let's open it up. It's really locked. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just came up out of nowhere. Hello. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Wah wah. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. W what are you doing here? Makoto, Nagi, this is super duper majority bad. Majorly bad. So bad, it's almost magical. Ultra magical. Awful, awful attack. Uh huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is because it's locked? Is it because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um, didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' dorms have, don't have locks. <laughs> I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. <laughs> anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you gotta turn the, turn the doorknob and lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've had doors that do that. See, it opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye-bye! Anyway, I still don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! <laughs> wow. Hey, wait! <laughs> Damn it. Oh. That's the bell to say go to sleep. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. In other words, go to sleep. <laughs> As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Yeah, yeah, I got okay, it. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Right. I won't. Looks like it's night time. Y'all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. Yep. I don't blame ya. <laughs> yeah, I'll say not. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. <laughs> oh? What is this? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Yes, yes, yes. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! <laughs> I do dig the art style, it's unique. Okay. Time for school to resume. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! I think Get you're ready to greet another bee! Beautiful day! A very beautiful day. <laughs> Bear puns. Teddy? Damn it. Teddy from Persona 4 trained me too well. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I would like a chance to save. Okay. Ah, oh, right, I'm square, right? Do -do -do. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to go ahead and save my game. And end the video for today. So, okay. It looks like, yeah, we're gonna be stuck here. And we're gonna have to probably sneak around more so at night. Maybe try and find a way out. Maybe. But yeah, that was our first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Oh boy. 
and I really am enjoying this game. It's fun so far, it really is. And I'm sorry I haven't been able to record more of it more often. Along with everything I'm trying to record. Because <laughs> I still have Persona 4 going on, Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, <laughs> and Nier, of course. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video nonetheless. And if you did, feel free to leave a like and share around if you want to. And if you want to follow me on Twitter or support the channel on Patreon, both links will be in the video description below. And uh, yeah, next time we'll go find Sayaka and see what she has to say. Hopefully she's okay, because I'm. I have a feeling sooner or later someone's gonna end up, you know, <laughs> dead. <laughs> yeah. For now, at least everyone seems to be all right. But yeah. We'll head to her room later and find out. But until then, see you guys later. <laughs>